All right, in this uh, two-click video, I'm going to cover up doing a batch upgrade of Exchange uh, certificate in an Exchange environment. Uh, as you can see, I'm logged into my Exchange environment here, and I have um, certificates that are actually expiring today. Um, that's a quick background. You know, sometimes you go to some website. Let's say you go there right now, and you see a certificate is fine. You go there five minutes later, it's expired. You go there again another five minutes later, it's okay. That's because they did not upgrade all the CAS serving the back end with certificate. Normally that happens when you're doing a manual process because you forget a certificate, you, you know, a server, you think you've done it, you haven't done it. So what I what I normally do for my environment, I had a script I put together. I'm gonna show you how it works and then I'm gonna publish it so 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 I can use it. So like I said, here's my certificate is expired today. So this is externally. So what I'm gonna do is jump onto one of my exchange servers. I currently have it in the MMR and check that's the certificate I have published right now. See, it has all uh, four services and it's expiring today. Uh, so, this is the script I created. I'll put it up for you guys in an example. Uh, let me go ahead and run it. So, I'll bring up it. Needs to, you need to run it through using the Exchange uh, PowerShell. And let me pull up my little thing here. So the that's the name of the file, and it needs two variable. It needs the path to the PFX file, which is the um, my certificate with the private key. Also, it needs a, a friendly name for the certificate that way appears in uh, the Exchange Console. Uh, those are the only two requirements for the script to run, but you will need to enter the password for the uh, the PFX because it is encrypted. So let's see how this works. And it will take a while because it needs to get the certs, uh, import it, you know how it goes. All right, so now this part is asking me to delete my old because my script also has an option to delete my old search. So I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to that. If you have a large environment with hundreds, you can you can do an automated for that yes uh, option so that you don't have to see it or you can suppress it. Whatever makes you feel good. Uh, Alright, it found another CAS and he wants to delete the uh, certificate from the other CAS. Say yes. And that's it. So I'll jump back to my external. Uh, if I check here, it will still have the old one. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, refresh, and then I'll check my certificate again. Perfect, it has a new one. And I'll jump back to the internal, and I'll check my service here. If I refresh, it has removed the Komodo, and it has put in the new one. I assigned all four of the services to it, and it expires on uh, next year and I'll check my MMR same thing perfect now uh, let me go ahead and just analyze the script for you I'll go ahead and put in comments in there just before I publish it well basically what this does is um, the first thing it asks is me for my password and it, it does it uh, it secures it then it goes into the exchange uh, environment and look for all the servers with a CAS role. Once it gets a CAS server, it does this uh, block here for all of the CAS server, which is basically imports the um, the PFX, and then it enables it for the four services, and then it looks for the old certs that expire in five days, 
within five days. I normally do it till five days. In this case, a day before or the day. So it looks for all the old certificate in five days. Then it goes ahead and remove those certificates. And that's it. All right. I hope you enjoyed the two-click video. Have a wonderful day.